Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this collage hand animation in After Effects. I'm going to walk you through the entire process of prepping the hand in Photoshop and after that, we're going to move to After Effects and animate it. Watch till the end for a project breakdown where I show how to implement this design on an actual client work. So with that said, let's begin. So after going through a few hand images, I picked this one. I imported this image into Photoshop and just isolated the hand. After this, I just scaled it up. Now you can see how this hand is filled with this tiny white eye speckles. So in order to remove them, I selected the clone stamp tool and basically started drawing over the speckles, referencing the other pixels around the hand. And once done, now you can see we have this cleaned hand image. Now with this cleaned hand piece, I made a selection around the pinky finger, then cut it out and paste it into a new layer. Now you can see how we can move this finger around, but we do need to fill the empty pixels around the palm. So I selected the empty pixel area in our bottom layer and then went to edit content aware fill. Now here you have a bunch of options to copy the pixels around an image and fill those empty pixels. The custom option will allow you to draw over the image and reference those pixels. As you can see, as I'm drawing over the hand, how it's filling those empty pixels around our selection. You also have two other options called auto and rectangular which do a decent work of filling it around. I hit OK to apply it. And now you can see we have separated our finger and also recreated part of our palm back. From this point onward, I use the same method to separate the fingers and recreating the palm back little by little. For the last finger, in this case, it's the index finger. I had to recreate some of it back cause some of it was in the shadows. So I basically used the same method to recreate those parts. Now for the strings around each of the fingers. For that, I have this single thread, which I took from this image and saved it as a PNG. I imported this piece in our hand PSD file, then repositioned it then went to edit, puppet warp and started putting pins over the thread. Once done, I started moving the pins around so it looked like the thread is wrapping around the finger. Once done, I removed the excess thread and merged these two layers. And that gives us this finger with the thread wrapped around and I basically repeated this entire process for the rest of the fingers. And this is our final hand prep for animation. Now before jumping into After Effects, let's see some additional elements I made for this animation. The first thing is the string element, which I've cut from this image, which I've showed you guys previously. This was saved as a PNG. The next thing are these wooden block alphabets, which I took from this image. And this was saved as a PSD file. So make sure when you're importing them, the option composition retain layer sizes is on. So it doesn't mess up your Photoshop dimensions and size. Now let's animate. Now in After Effects, I have already imported our assets. I double click on our hand composition and that will open it up with its PSD layer all set inside. I hit Ctrl K to open up the comp settings and extended it in both width and height. I selected all of the layers and pushed them up. After this, I repositioned the anchor point for each fingers individually. Then I dragged in our thread element and started repositioning it at the bottom of each finger. I also changed each of their rotation value a bit but not too extreme. 
After this, it was time to place those wooden alphabet blocks. I basically arranged them to match with each finger. After this, I color coded each set which contained one finger, one thread and one block so it doesn't get too confusing. After this, I parented each thread and block layer to its corresponding finger. So now if I move the finger, you can see how the thread and the block is moving along. I started animating from the index finger. So first I put some position and rotation keyframes, then moved a bit, changed their value. And after that copy pasted our first set of keyframes. And basically I started doing the same for the rest of the fingers while maintaining the keyframe offset. I also made sure none of the blocks collide with each other cause that would look odd. After this I soloed the palm layer and started putting puppet pins around it. I started moving the pins which were controlling the thumb area. I put them a bit up then like before copy pasted the previous set of keyframes so we can loop them. I also deleted the rest of the unused pin keyframes. And after a RAM preview, this is what we got. Now to loop the fingers, I alt click on the position property and typed in this simple loop out expression. Then I just copy pasted it to the rest of the layers. Now this animation is happening in an offsetted way as in first the index finger then the middle one and then so on and so forth. If you want to start the animation from the very beginning check where the animation loop ends. In our case it's around 1 second and 12 frames. So you can put this comp into a new one and then move forward to the end of the loop. Then trim this comp to that point. After this, you can move this comp back again at the beginning of the composition. And now you can see how it's animating from the very beginning. And that's it. This is how you can create this type of collage hand animation. Once done, you can add in a whole bunch of other stuffs to make it more exciting. But the core process remains the same. Now let me break down how I implemented this animation into one of my project. So what you guys are seeing right now is a modified version of the file that I produced for this client. I did have to change few things in order to share this file with you guys. But I would say this is around 60 to 70% same which I have given to the client. So that's that. So let's quickly break down this file and see how are the elements were combined in this composition. So the first thing if I solo this BG layer, you can see it's just a normal simple BG with some few specks of dirt here and there. The next thing would be this USA map which is basically a PNG file. There's just these lines. You can see the transparency. Now the next element is this blue box. And if I solo it, you can see how it has some dot pattern over it. And it's pre-comped into its own composition. So if I double click to open it, you can see there is there's just solid blue layer and over it in this dot pattern texture and uh, this is again a PNG with transparency built into it and this is animating. So if I hit P you can see there are like just position keyframes and I have turned these uh, keyframes into hold keyframes. So. If I go back and right click over it, keyframe assistant, and no, not keyframe assistant, sorry, my bad. It's just like toggle hold keyframes. So yeah, there you go. Now let's come back to our composition, main composition again. And here in the blue box, you have seen 
that I've also added this curve effect over this composition so it boosts up the brightness so by default it looks like this and if I add the curve effect it kind of looks like this. The next thing is this hand animation that I just showed you guys how to make from scratch. So this is on its own new composition. If I solo it, this is how the hand animation looks. Again, it has a curve effect applied over it. If I turn it off, this is how it looks. This is how we just added a slight S curve to add back in some of that contrast. And this sits over this blue box composition and the blending mode is set to luminosity. So by default it's gonna look like this and if we go back to luminosity this just blends the hand like this. The client actually liked this look so the original was the hand was in its normal color. But the client said hey can we like change something and I showed him this version and he really liked it. The next thing would be this red box and again it's into its new composition. So if I solo it it's like that and if I go into its composition it's just another red solid layer and there is a texture overlay over it. And I adjusted its alpha basically. So if I turn off the curve, you can see how it is. And now with the curve added with the alpha modified, this is how it looks. Back in our main composition, let's see. Now we have this stair image, which is again, uh, this is, I just cut it out from an image asset. Again, nothing, just added some curve adjustment. Then this White House uh, image. But again, simple image, simple curve adjustment, nothing fancy. Now, after that, I have two texture overlay. One is this white speckles. And if I zoom in, you can see, let me solo this. So this is how by default is just like a texture animation going on. And this is obviously PNG, so it has transparency. And then we have that same kind of speckle, but this time it's just black dots. So if I solo it, you can see if I zoom it in, you can see how that works and to tie everything up uh, i have an adjustment layer with some noise applied this is without the noise and this is with the noise and to get that low frame rate look i just added a, another adjustment layer with the posterized time effect set to 12 and that's it this is how i created this entire project so as you can see once you make the core animation it's really easy to implement it in a number of ways into your projects you can grab the project file with the hand animation inside along with all the other assets i just showed you earlier from my gumroad page and all the free assets are also linked down below so if you like this video, leaving a like and subscribing to the channel would be awesome and highly appreciated. Thank you all for watching, take care of yourself and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye guys.